Hello and welcome to one of the CS25 FAQ questions. Um, today we're going to address operator parentheses. Now this is a method in the EasyB library and it seems to cause a lot of confusion with students, particularly why is this thing called operator parentheses? Why does it have these two parentheses in the name of the function? Um, so we'll cover a few things on that today. First of all, what does it actually do? So take for example if we have a BMP image represented by this rectangle here on the left. If we were to call operator um, parentheses on the image, say x position 0, 0, we'd get back a pointer to that pixel. And also if we called it on say, oh I don't know, 2, 1, we would get that. And so basically, if you guys were to write this library yourself, you'd probably call this something like get pixel, because that actually kind of captures what the method is doing. So, which brings me to the next point. So why do we have this, this funky name? Why is it called operator parentheses? And the answer to that is something called operator overloading. Now I'm not going to go too much in detail on this because um, you guys will cover it later in class, but it basically allows you to define what it means to add two objects together, to subtract them, or to even use the, the parentheses in, in our case. So more importantly I guess is how do we actually use this thing in our MP. So let's say we have, whoops, let's say we have an image and we've got it all set up and read from file and now we're ready to look at some pixels or change some pixels okay we can we can do this in two ways uh, first one is to just call operator parentheses like it's an actual method okay so this is no different than you guys are used to um, you type image dot method and then the arguments to that method. It's just that our method happens to have kind of a weird name and extra parentheses in its name. Alright, so you can use it that way, and the other way you can use it is to skip that long typing altogether and just put it like this. Okay, now internally, um, C++ will do the same thing. It translates this kind of into this and so syntactically they look a little different but they actually do the same thing um, so the most important part is that you guys just understand what operator parentheses does it kind of grabs a pointer to a pixel out of an image and then you can view uh, the RGB values or you can change them or you can do whatever you want with them um, if you're curious about operator overloading you can look it up on Google or you can just wait a few weeks whenever you guys cover it in class